Ever thought your life sometimes plays out a lot like a movie? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies told in real time. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at films whose durations all span the same amount of time that lapses on screen. So, if the movie is two hours long, two hours of action occur between the start and the finish, without jumps between hours or days. You can tell your man he can go back to work now. Number 10. Lock. Set in a BMW over the course of a two-hour drive between Birmingham and London, this film follows Ivan Locke as he takes and makes a series of phone calls that have the potential to destroy the life he's built for himself. It's a familiar predicament to a man like you, isn't it, Dad? Mm -hmm. Anchored by a stellar Tom Hardy performance, the movie sees the title character discover that a colleague he slept with went into premature labor the night before the biggest day of his career so he travels to be with her instead of his family at home. And because the baby was caused by me. That is my decision I have made. It's not an easy feat to pull off, and even though the film consists entirely of a driving man speaking on the telephone, many critics deemed Locke to be the most suspenseful movie of the year. I'll explain when I'm not driving and when I'm with you and Eddie together, you know? Number 9, United 93. I'm on the plane at home. It's, it's been hijacked. Shot documentary style to heighten the reality of the tragic events, this pic chronicles the hijacking of United Airlines Flight 93 before it was crashed into a field, killing everyone on board. Playing out in real time from the moment the plane takes off, the movie alternates between the heroic passengers who overtook the terrorists and air traffic controllers attempting to make sense of the chaotic situation. Tom, I'm getting no response out of a United 93. No response at all. Director Paul Greengrass had the daunting task of producing the first Hollywood film about the attacks, and he was praised for his ability to tell the story with dignity. Dedicated to the memory of those lost on 9-11, several family members of those who died on the plane even attended the movie's New York premiere. We have to do something. They are not going to land this plane. Number 8, Cleo from 5 to 7. Tu me détestes, on dirait. Encore un truc pour qu'on te dise qu'on t'aime. Heavily influenced by themes of existentialism and feminism that were prominent in 1960s France, Cleo from 5 to 7 begins with a singer awaiting the results of a medical exam that may reveal a cancer diagnosis. Cut into small chapters that only last a few minutes to emphasize its time structure, the stretch of the waiting period causes the viewer to examine mortality and death, the Algerian war, and making the most of one's life, especially as a female in society. Des oiseaux, de l'orage, des ascenseurs, des aiguilles, puis maintenant, cette énorme peur de mourir. A unique take on the real-time format. It's a classic of the French New Wave movement, and one of the most famous films by director Agnès Verde. C'est un signe de mort. C'est horrible. Number 7, High Noon. Go on, saddle him up. You go a long way before he tires. As its poster tagline reads, this four-time Academy Award-winning Western tells the story of a man who is too proud to run. Will Kane is a newly retired marshal of New Mexico Territory, who has plans to settle down and live a quiet existence. That is, until he learns that an outlaw he sent to jail is due to arrive by train at noon, and that he'll be seeking revenge. This is crazy, I haven't even got any guns. Then let's go on, hurry. Thus begins the exhilarating countdown, leaving Kane only two hours to decide whether to flee or stick around to find out who his real friends are. With an unforgettable final duel, this movie's real-time format makes the suspense level rise with each passing minute. Go on home to your kids, Herb. Number 6, Russian Ark. <laughs> Filmed in one continuous take through the corridors and galleries of the Winter Palace of the Russian State Hermitage Museum, this film fest favorite isn't merely a technical achievement, but also a philosophical meditation on Russian history. What a cartoon. A ghost serves as narrator, inviting the steady cam to drift through the museum and witness three centuries of St. Petersburg's past. <laughs> Due to the highly meticulous nature of the production, which employed over 2,000 actors and three orchestras, it took Alexander Sokharov and his team four attempts to capture the film in one shot. The final time, they had only preserved enough battery for one more take. Number 5, Victoria. What's happening? A night out clubbing takes a turn for the worse when Victoria, a Spanish emigre living in Berlin, gets caught up in a plot to rob a bank. 
set within the morning hours between 4.30 and 7.30 a.m. This high-intensity, real-time drama also unfolds as one uninterrupted shot, receiving heaps of critical acclaim for managing to cover so much ground, going from a nightclub, to a cafe, to a parking garage, to a bank, in a single take. What do we have to do now? Just go. With only a 12-page script, Director Sebastian Schipper promised to compose a jump-cut version of the film as Plan B if he couldn't achieve the extended take. And the film is all the more immersive for it. Hey, let's make it some plan, man. Let's go! Yeah, 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 yeah. Number 4. Run, Lola, Run. I need 100,000 mark to afford. What? This fast-paced German thriller is noted for its innovation, because it presents the audience with three potential outcomes based on three different dashes. The basic premise follows a German woman who must somehow obtain and deliver a large sum of money to her boyfriend, a small-time criminal, or else he'll be killed. But as the three runs individually unfold, the filmmakers show us that even the smallest obstacles, like tripping over or leaping over a dog, can make a world of difference. <laughs> The Race Against the Clock was nominated for over 40 awards, but unfortunately couldn't rush its way to the Academy Awards Foreign Language Film category. Number 3, 12 Angry Men. You're faced with a grave responsibility. Thank you, gentlemen. Based on a teleplay, 12 Angry Men grants the audience a fly-on-the-wall perspective of a 12-person jury as its members struggle to come to a unanimous decision. Deep-seated themes of morality and reason come into play minute after minute, as the dozen must decide whether an 18-year-old boy is guilty of murdering his father, unable to leave the room without a consensus. What's the matter with you guys? You all know he's guilty! He's got to burn! You're letting him slip through our fingers! Nominated for Best Picture, Adapted Screenplay, and Director at the Oscars, its one-room setting and tight script also set the stage for several knockout performances by its leads, including Henry Fonda, who greatly affects the real-time events as they unfold. No jury can declare a man guilty unless it's sure. It was the first ever film by Sidney Lumet, who would later return to the real-time technique with both Failsafe and Dog Day Afternoon. You'd like to kill me, huh? but you would. Number two, Before Sunset. You can never replace anyone because everyone is made of such beautiful, specific details. A sequel to Richard Linklater's Before Sunrise, this movie picks up nine years after Jesse and Celine spent a romantic night together in Vienna. Having vowed to cross paths in the future, they unexpectedly stumble across one another in a Parisian bookstore at a reading for the book Jesse wrote about their first encounter. Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> the reunited couple spends the remainder of the day discussing the way their lives have unraveled, while meandering about Paris in real time a feat which cinematographer Lee Daniels said was a major challenge when it came to matching the color of the skies from scene to scene. The fact that nearly a decade elapsed since the first film adds an authenticity to their feelings about relationships and aging. He's totally depressed. I mean, his great dream was to be a lover, an adventurer. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I probably will faint tonight, uh, just as you did. I do just the same thing myself. We can't be direct, so we end up saying the weirdest things. I like it like I like a shot of whiskey first thing in the morning. You know, it's good for about 10 minutes, and then I want my coffee. Number one, rope. The power to kill can be just as satisfying as the power to create. Filmed in just 10 extended takes, Rope follows two young men who strangle their former classmate to death and hide his body in a wooden chest before trying to subtly conceal their crime during a dinner party. An Alfred Hitchcock classic, it was the second of the director's limited setting pictures after Lifeboat, but Rope received considerably more attention not only because it was Hitchcock's first Technicolor film, but also due to the novelty of it appearing to consist solely of one long shot. It's only a piece of rope, Philip, an ordinary household article. Why hide it? Although it wasn't tremendously well received upon release, today it remains a marvel to watch, its real-time format rendering it one of the tensest works in the Master of Suspense's entire canon of work. Nobody commits a murder Here. just for the experiment of committing it. Nobody except us. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.